My name is Ramin Ramazani. I'm a research scientist at the Center for Smart Health at UCLA, uh, adjunct professor of computer science. I am a computer scientist by training, have a PhD in artificial intelligence, and over the past uh, decade, I have been very much interested in using technology in healthcare. Also a co-founder uh, with uh, and the CEO of Invista Health. Over the past uh, years, I would say decade, artificial intelligence has been transforming healthcare. Uh, in a very significant way. There are numerous researchers and uh, uh, computer scientists uh, from various backgrounds that are trying to solve healthcare problems using the technology, using uh, uh, artificial intelligence per se. Artificial intelligence over the past few years has been transforming uh, healthcare uh, in a better way. And there are lots of problems in the, the, the rise in healthcare domain that with the use of technology, computer science, electrical engineering, we can make them a, less of a problem or we can solve them or we can uh, make the entire healthcare system more efficient. Our artificial intelligence is transforming uh, healthcare. That's, that's something that uh, we already know we're living in. Our research uh, at Center for Smart Health and also at Computer Science Department that, that led us to having a startup company uh, from UCLA was to solve a certain problem in healthcare domain. Imagine that the, the population of the world is aging, uh, United States as well. And uh, while it's amazing that we get to live longer, but at the same time, we need to ensure as a society and also professionals and scientists that uh, our older population, they, they get high quality of care. And at the same time, the cost of uh, healthcare, the cost of care is not going to be drastically uh, higher because while we grow older and our uh, older population is increasing, we need to know that the healthcare cost will also increase. Um, you, can, you can imagine, to give you some, some numbers, uh, the population currently of United States, uh, geriatric population of United States, uh, 65 plus, is roughly around 60 million. And this number is expected to be drastically increasing over the next two, three decades. It's expected to reach uh, 90 million by 2050. So it means that uh, we will have a larger population of older patients that they require care and then require high quality of care. Uh, this is one thing. And much of the geriatric population, we know that roughly 20, 25% of geriatric populations are people who are at risk, at risk of further decline, at risk of being uh, dependent, losing independence and being isolated. So this is the overall problem, to provide more accessible, uh, more efficient care and personalized care for geriatric population, for patients in general, but particularly for geriatric population. One thing is to assess them is to figure out how they're doing, is to assess their general well-being. Um, Invista Health, the company that started from UCLA after years of doing research and clinical trials at UCLA, is a company that targets this. My partner and I, the co-founders of Invista Health, we have been interested in somewhat assessing patients, assessing their overall well-being, assessing their independent level. And uh, with the advent of technology and uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning, uh, and, and particularly low cost sensors and AI, we managed to build a system, an ecosystem that can uh, track patients continuously. The idea was to receive information, continuous information from the patients so, so that we can emulate somehow uh, the measurement of their uh, activities of daily living that we know that have a high prognostic uh, values. So imagine that we have a large population of geriatrics, of older population, and then we don't know much about them other than the time that they go and visit the doctor within the confinements of a hospital or a doctor. But what if we could monitor them constantly? By monitoring them, we receive information of their digital uh, daily digital breadcrumbs so we can have, we can form a storyline of their daily activities so that we can somehow predict if they're on the decline, on the further decline, 
or at risk of further decline or at risk of isolation. So over the past six, seven years, we have been running a lot of uh, clinical trials at UCLA through our research. Uh, hundreds of patients and thousands of patient hours to build our predictive algorithms. And then those predictive algorithms coupled with the sensors that we give to patients, we are hoping to be able to uh, receive con continuous information from patients and then predict if, like for example, our grandmothers are on the verge of uh, functional decline or they are uh, on, on the verge of getting isolated, they, they might need help. So what's the use of it? The overall use is to have uh, timely interventions later on, to send nurse at home, to intervene in a way to avoid cost, to avoid hospitalization, to avoid events that would otherwise be preventable if had we known earlier what is happening to, to patients.